Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this custom contact us page to your blogger website. Now, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I have videos on that. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Now, in this video, we're going to add this to a blogger website. So let me show you how it works. We can see that we have these three input fields. And if I click on the send button, we have this error message, all fields are necessary. And if I add some text over here, and if I click on send, we can see that it says enter a valid email and we have to enter a valid email and now if I click on send we don't have any errors and the form is submitted. Now in this video we will add this contact us page to our blogger website and uh, when we submit this form the details of the form will be sent to the email associated with the blogger website. Now this is also completely responsive so if I decrease the width of this browser window this is how it will look on a smaller screen. Right, so let's get started. Here I'm in my blogger dashboard and let's go ahead and create a new page for contact us. So let's go to pages and let's click on new page and I'll just name it contact us. And the first thing you need to do is you need to change this to the HTML view. So by default, it'll be in the compose view. Click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So let's create a style tag over here. And uh, I'll just close it over here. And uh, let's go to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the style.css file and uh, let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it over here inside this style tag. Now let's paste the HTML. So let's go outside this style tag. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And let's go ahead and copy this division from here. So this division with the class of contact container. So let's copy all of this from here. And let's paste it over here. And now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And in the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go to our main.js file and uh, I'll just copy all of this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Right now, if we click on publish and confirm, here we can see our page has been created. So let's click on view. And here we can see our contact form is being displayed. And if I decrease the width of the browser window, we can see that it is completely responsive. Now we have some problems in the styling. We don't have the correct margin for this heading. So here we can see we have a lot of margin. So let's go ahead and add the margin. Let's right click over here and uh, go to inspect. And uh, this is the H2. Let's go ahead and add some margin bottom. I think 24 pixels looks all right. So let's add a margin bottom of 24 pixels to the contact container H2. So let's go inside this page and let's go to the H2 and here let's type margin bottom 24 pixels and let's update it. Let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And now we can see it looks all right. Let's click on this send button and we have the error displayed and if I add some text now we have the error displayed for the email and if I add the correct email and if I click on send we can see that the page is reloaded right now this is just a simple form and we don't have any functionality now to add the functionality we're going to use the contact form widget that comes by default with blogger before that let's go ahead and make some changes to this page let's go ahead and hide this title and we'll also remove these comments and we'll also remove this popular post widget from here first of all let's remove this comment so let's go back to the page and here in the options you can just select do not allow hide existing so this is for the comments let's click on update let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the comment option is not being displayed Right now let's right click over here in the title and uh, let's go to inspect and here we can see we have this s3 with a class of post title so let's select that over here inside our page 
So in this uh, CSS, I just add a selector. Let's type post title and let's see what else we need to hide. The next thing we need to hide is this share button right here. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's see what is the selector for this share button. So if you scroll up here, we can see we have this division with the class of post share buttons. So let's copy this class from here. And let's paste it over here. And we need to add a dot over here. And let's see what else we need to hide. Let's scroll down and here we can see we have this line. Let's see what is that. Let's go to inspect. And uh, here we have this section with a class of comments. So this line is basically for the comments section. So let's hide that as well. Here I'll just type dot comments. And let's go back and uh, the next thing we need to hide is this popular posts widget. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And uh, here we can see we have this widget with an ID of popular posts one. So let's copy this ID from here and let's go back. And uh, since it is an ID, we need to type hash popular posts one. And uh, now let's go ahead and type display of none. And let's click on update. Right now, let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we don't have the title and we also don't have the share button. And if you scroll down, we don't have the popular post widget. So everything is looking all right. Now let's go ahead and add the functionality of this contact form. So for that, let's go back to our blogger dashboard. And let's go over here to layout. And here we need to click on add a gadget. And uh, we need to search for contact form. So if you scroll down here, we can see we have the contact form. So let's click on that. And here we have the configuration page. Let's click on show the widget and let's click on save. Now this widget is added to the sidebar. So now if we save this and uh, if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page, let's go to the home page. And here we can see we have this hamburger icon. And if I click on that, we have the sidebar and in the sidebar, we have this contact form. So this is a contact form that works. So if I just add some text over here, so I'll just type John and John at gmail.com. Let's click on testing and let's click on send. And here we can see it says your message has been sent. So this contact form works because it is inbuilt in a blogger website. So now what we need to do is we need to copy this contact form from here and we need to integrate it with the custom contact form that we created. So let's right click over here and uh, let's go to inspect. And uh, here we can see that we have this widget and in that we can see we have this uh, division with the class of contact form widget. Let's open that and in that we have this form. So we need to copy this form. So I just right click over here and uh, and let's click on edit as HTML. And now we can go ahead and copy this HTML from here. So let's press command A or control A and let's copy it from here. And let's go back to our pages and let's go to contact us. And here we will add the contact form of the blogger website. So here just before the JavaScript, I just paste the contact form and uh, now if we update this and uh, let's go back to this uh, contact us page and now if we scroll down here we can see we have the contact form of blogger and let's see whether it works so let's click on send and we can see that it has this error message so this contact form is working now what we need to do is we need to copy these input fields from here and we need to add them to these input fields. So let's go back to the page. So here we have the page and uh, let's scroll down. And uh, here this is our contact form that we designed. And in that we have this form and in the form we have this top section and in that we have group In the group we have the label and then we have this input container division in that we have this icon. And after that we have this input field. 
Now instead of this input field, we need to add the input field of the blogger widget. So let's scroll down and uh, let's take a look at the input field. So this is the input field that comes by default with blogger. So I'll just copy this one from here. This is for the name. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here for the name. And I think we can delete this class. Now let's go ahead and copy the input field for the email. So let's scroll down. And this is the input field for the email. So let's copy this. And let's scroll up. And let's cut this from here. And let's add the input field of the blogger widget. And we can simply delete this class. And then lastly, we have this text area. So let's scroll down. And here for the email message, we have this text area. So I'll just copy this. And uh, let's scroll up and uh, let's paste it over here for this text area. And let's go ahead and delete this calls and also rows from here. And I think we can also delete this class. I think this was for the styling. Right now, let's go ahead and add the button. So here we can see inside the button container division, we have this icon and then we have this input field with the type of submit. So let's scroll down and uh, here we have the contact form submit button and uh, let's copy this. And uh, let's paste it over here. And here I'll just delete this class. And then we have this ID, the type is set to button and the value is set to send. And then we have the error message of the blogger website. So here we can say we have this div and in that we have the contact form error message and the contact form success message. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. Now, since we have this uh, error message of our own, I think we can simply delete this error message from here. I'll just keep the success message. And let's go ahead and uh, delete these styles that we have by default. Right now, let's go ahead and update this. And let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And here we can see in the styling, we have this problem for the button. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And uh, here we can see for the button, we have this type of submit. And if I go to the style.css file, and uh, here we can see that we are adding these styles to the input of the type of submit. But if you go to the blogger website, and if I take a look at the button, here we can see that the button is a type of button. So let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS. And here instead of submit, let's type button and let's click on update. And now let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have the correct styling for the button. Now let's go ahead and delete this contact form. So let's go back to the page and uh, let's scroll down and I'll just delete this contact form. And uh, let's also hide the contact form that we have in the sidebar. So let's go back to our website and let's go to the home page and let's click on this icon. And here we have the contact form. I'll just right click over here and go to inspect. And here we can see we have this sidebar top section and then we have this container division sidebar top wrapper. So this is the contact form. And after that we have the other sections. So let's hide this sidebar top wrapper. So I'll just copy this class from here and let's go back to our theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML and uh, let's go to the CSS and here in the end of the CSS I'll just copy the selector and let's just set the display to none and uh, I'll just save it And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. 
and now let's open the sidebar and now we can see that the contact form is not being displayed so let's go back to the contact form page so let's go to pages and let's click on view now you can add the link of your contact form page to the home page so that users can easily navigate to this page all right now let's see whether everything works all right so let's click on send and uh, we have some problems in the code so let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's see whether we have any errors so if you go to console here we can see we have two errors and uh, if i click on this we can see that name field has this error so cannot read properties of null so name field is not being read correctly so let's go back to contact us and let's scroll down and uh, here in the javascript this is where we are referencing name field and here we are adding this id of full name but if you scroll up here we have changed the input fields so let's add the id of the updated input field so right now the id of the name is this id right here so let's copy this id and let's scroll down and let's paste it over here for the name and then for the email we have a different id so let's copy the id for the email and i'll just paste it over here and then we have the id for the message which is this one right here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and i think that's it so let's click on update let's go back to our page and uh, let's refresh this now let's click on send and here we can see we have this error message and uh, here we have the error message for the valid email so let's tap test at gmail.com and let's click on send and now we can see it says sending and the message has been sent now if you open the email account associated with this blogger website then you will find the email with the details of this form all right so with that we have completed adding this custom contact us form to your blogger website using html css and javascript and we have used the default contact form widget from blogger for the functionality all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day